My uh, past few videos I've shown using a particle photon, which is here, uh, to control the electronics I work with. And part of that is that I have a mid-2009 MacBook Pro that tends to actually crash when I plug USB devices into it for no real reason that I can ascertain. Uh, beyond the fact that I've, you know, messed with it for a long time. Luckily, my webcam doesn't do that. Anyways, I thought it would be it would be good to sort of get people up to speed on just how quickly and easily you can set your particle photon up for use and how to work with it. Okay, so that's that's where we're going today. So here we have the particle photon and. I want to be able to connect to it. You see right now, it's just sort of blinking and doing its thing. It's having a hard time with the connection. But what I want to do when I first buy my, my particle photon is go to setup.particle.io, and this will walk you through the steps you need. So start out, are you setting up an electron with a SIM card, activating a SIM card only? Or are you setting up a photon? This says it's in beta, but it works great. So you click that, you hit next, and let's make sure you have all your things together, your photon, your USB power, your Wi-Fi network, or your network, network credentials so you can sign into your network. This will download a, clicking on continue with local file will allow you to do a local connection to your particle photon, otherwise how will you work it? So download the local file. You can see I've already downloaded this a number of times. It's sitting in my, my uh, sitting on my laptop <laughs> but okay so here we go first step let's open that local file and it says to hold down setup on your photon for three seconds setup is to the left of your status light so let's hold that down until you get a blue blinking light there we go blinking blue then we go and find in our Wi-Fi list, we find the Photons Wi-Fi network. And we're going to connect to that. Once we have connected to the Wi-Fi network, this page will automatically change to the Wi-Fi network choice page. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my Photon to my Wi-Fi network. And we're going to run through the process of connecting. I'm going to fast forward. So now you would go to the step of naming the device. I'm, I've already named mine, so I will be clicking complete setup without naming your device. But you could name your device, and that gets you to the point of being able to code or send code to your particle photon. And that is that. Our photon is good to go.